Guys, you probably all heard about what happened with Streamlabs last week. In case you don't know, they were recently caught plagiarizing another streaming company called Lightstream. And since then, there's been an absolute firestorm. Twitter is just dogpiling on Streamlabs. The OBS team released their own statement. Even Elgato tweeted out this, which is just unreal to me. I'm sure every YouTuber is trying to cash in on all of the drama, and that includes me. You know, I, I like ad revenue. This isn't really a planned video, but it's kind of a time sensitive topic. Plus if I upload the video next week, it's gonna get way less views and I don't want that to happen. But I've kind of been dunking on Streamlabs for years. So I'm not gonna lie, today feels like a pretty validating day for me. As bad as things look for Streamlabs, it's so much worse behind the scenes. Because this live stream drama is not the only example of Streamlabs taking or stealing other companies' ideas. I've had multiple companies tell me in the past that they've had tools or widgets or software directly copied by Streamlabs, but they would never say anything publicly or even mention Streamlabs by name. But I think given all of the recent news, it's pretty obvious who they were talking about. I had a really long discussion on my Twitch stream that gave my immediate thoughts on the whole Streamlabs drama. So this video is basically just gonna be a highlight video of that stream because uh, I, I already said my thoughts, so I don't feel like saying it again. I will be working on putting together some videos or at least one video going through all of these Streamlabs alternative software that you can use. For those of you that are still using Streamlabs and wanna transition to using something else, I wanna show you guys some ways to, you know, uh, stop using their stuff. Obviously, given the controversial nature of this topic, this video isn't going to be sponsored. So instead, you guys can go and buy my merch. We recently released the new line of shirts called the Control C, Control V shirt. So if you wanna buy that, uh, links are down below. Okay, guys, for now, enjoy this video and uh, I'll catch you guys over in my Twitch stream. So the news that basically came out is there's a company called Lightstream. They basically have their own streaming solution, but it's all uh it's all like browser-based stuff. So they're they're basically doing their own thing. And they had they set up their own website, like their homepage that introduces like what uh stream uh Lightstream is all about. And then basically Streamlabs redid their homepage and it's exactly the same. This is Lightstream, this is Streamlabs, their homepage. Full layout design control, full layout design control. It's the text is like exactly the same. Automatically add overlays alerts. It's shocking how blatantly copied this is, right? Guys, the testimonies are the same. Lightstream is literally one of the greatest things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it so easy. Streamlabs Studio is literally one of the greatest things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it so easy. Oh, they took out the so, I guess. Love this platform. Love how they listen to their community. Love this platform. Love how they listen to their community. It is perfect. It is a perfect platform for console streaming. For all we know, they might both be fake testimonials. Honestly, like usually when I see testimonials on these websites, like I always assume that they're fake anyway. It's just funny that they're exactly the same. Our team takes an extremely results oriented approach to everything we do. Individuals are empowered to step up and own every aspect of their work. I am going to laugh if this is on another website. Okay, it is in, it does, it, Streamlabs is the only result. Dude, I would have died if this, like this stream Elvis page popped up. <laughs> and so there's a big controversy here because everyone's like a lot of new streamers think of Streamlabs as like oh yeah Streamlabs is like the best thing right because it's the most well-known thing and then even the OBS team they said even more shit near the launch of slobs Streamlabs reached out to us about using the OBS name we kindly asked them not to they did so anyway and followed up by filing a trademark we tried to sort this out private and they've been uncooperative at every turn I've talked to like several companies and let me just say that uh for the record multiple companies have issues with Streamlabs like issues to do with this thing of like copying and stuff. There's a lot of companies that won't publicly say it that are like, yo, this Streamlabs company is just real shady. So that's why it was really surprising today that Lightstream actually came out and actually said something. Even Elgato tweeted something out today. Look at this. I couldn't believe that they, I couldn't believe that they tweeted this out. So Lightstream posts up like, hey, can I copy your homework, blah, blah, blah. And then even Elgato replied like, know the feel. Oh yeah, basically they put out some bullshit thing saying like oh we made a mistake the landing page was a placeholder text 
blah, blah, blah. This is a lie. It's not a mistake. It's not placeholder text. First of all, if you know anything about programming, the usual placeholder text that you use is like the lorem ipsum, ipsum like Latin shit. That's like the standard text that people use in programming. Even if this is true, this is worse. This makes it worse for them. At no point should the text ever be the same. If your placeholder text is exactly the same as another website, you've literally just admitted that you copied them. I don't know why they tweeted this out. I basically tweeted out like, this is not surprising to me because if you don't know, Stream Elements has thing, a thing called SE Merch. After they made this page here, Stream Labs, updated their merch page and it's, it's the same thing. Well, isn't that just like a standard merch store thing, right? To my knowledge, Stream Elements develop this setup here where you just drop in your logo and it will auto generate your store. So you press accept and you just wait a bit. Basically the idea is it's like a one step process. You drag in your logo preview and it automatically generates all your separate items and stuff. Like that's something that they made. Again, if I'm wrong, I'll delete the VOD. <laughs> <laughs> so after Stream Elements made this, Stream Labs made their merch store thing. I promise you, their merch store did not look like this before. They have their own landing page. You drag in your logo and it auto generates. Stores being created, just make a couple, couple minutes. The same shit. This is like the drag one step process thing. Yeah, it's, it's exactly the same kind of stuff. All the other uh, stores like, uh, like uh, Teespring, or like Redbubble, you usually have to select your own designs and then you upload your uh, logo for each individual design. Like that's usually how that works. But the thing that SE made was this landing page. So that's what I was talking about. Stream Labs didn't have this before. I know what their page looked like before this. It didn't look like this. After they made this, Stream Labs updated their page to look like this. So this is not a mistake. You literally have to get an engineering team to design a page like this. Unless you guys can tell me another merch store that works exactly like this. I'm not aware of one. I could be wrong. There could be another store that does this. And maybe this is like a standard thing that merch stores use. The other thing, that I also pointed out was no, Streamlabs has a, a history of like pulling shit like this, right? They have a whole bunch of free features that they used to have. They had like a bunch of free overlays. Uh, their merch store was free to use and their deck app, they were all free to use. The three separate examples, right? So what happened? So when they first released their free overlays, they released Streamlabs Prime. And then without notice, they started charging for it. People got mad, they reverted it. And they're like, oh yeah, we're, we made it free again. A few months later, their merch store, same thing. They hid their merch store behind Streamlabs Prime with no warning. People got mad and they were like, oh yeah, we made it free again. Third time, third strike, their their touch portal app thing, whatever. They literally, and I tweeted this back in March. They I tweeted this out because their app, which they listed was free. They literally released an update to their app. And the only thing they added was that you need to pay for it. That was the only thing that they added with no warning, like you have to use Streamlabs Prime. And I tweeted about it, and it was only when I tweeted about it that they reversed it. So basically they have a history of like just making things hidden behind a paywall. They just wait until people get upset and then they revert it and act like no nothing ever happened. I don't like that they do this shit. <laughs> That's why I went on like a big rant because like, I've been doing it for so many years. And then like this stuff happens. I'm like, I was telling you guys, there's a reason why I roast them in every video. I've been approached to do sponsored videos for them. And I absolutely refuse because I'm like, I'm not going <laughs> to be sponsored by someone that that does shit like this. Like it actively hurts people that are streamers. They're like stealing intellectual property from other streaming companies to the point that other companies don't like Streamlabs. I'm telling you this for a fact, there are multiple companies that don't like them. They just won't say anything. And the companies that I have talked to, even when I talk to them, they don't mention them by name. They're like, this company that we will not name has been copying our stuff, but they, they'll never actually say who it is. It's very obvious that they're talking about Streamlabs. I've known for a while that some companies have issues with Streamlabs and their copying stuff, but it's just like none of them ever vocalized it until today. So it's crazy that Lightstream said something, Elgato said something, uh, the OBS team, 
came out basically calling out their shit. Like, this is crazy. I don't know if Streamlabs has been in deeper shit than this. This might be a thing that like in three months, people are going to forget about and like new streamers are going to end up using Streamlabs again. Maybe, I don't know. But it, th guys, this is bad shit. <laughs> this is bad. I don't like burning bridges with companies. This is like the one example that I'm okay with. Even, you know what? Even for Streamlabs though, like I, I always preface this by saying like, hey, if you want to use it, go use their stuff. Like I never like actively shit on them. I can't in good faith recommend anyone use Streamlabs. I may do a video pretty soon because this is a pretty time sensitive topic. So it might be after the video that I'm working on now, it actually might be the video after that. I might do a video like showing you guys how to, um, because I've been meaning to do it for a while, showing people like how to move their stuff over from Streamlabs OBS and just like finding alternatives and stuff. I don't think anyone should ever use their, their shit. The other thing, okay, I'm gonna do this too. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a Twitch account right now, and then I'm gonna log into Stream Streamlabs. So we've got our new Twitch account here, right? We are going to go into StreamElements.com. I'm going to log in with Twitch. Hi, increase your engagement with Stream Elements chatbot. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess I could. I don't really want to look at this right now. I'm just gonna click X because I just want to get in. You know, I don't want to have to set everything up. Oh, that was easy. I was, I was painless. That was a painless process, you know? It showed me one page with some suggestions and I'm like, cool. I want to skip that and I just want to get into the main thing. I just want to get into the main thing. Let's go into Streamlabs now. I want to log in with my new account. Authorize. Okay, we're logging into Streamlabs. First thing it asked me, choose your Streamlabs plan. I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't care. Skip. Select starter. Continue. Okay? I don't give a fuck. Why are you trying to make me download shit? Okay, stop. I just want to continue. Stop making me set up shit. I don't want to set up shit. I just want to get up. Holy fuck, how many things do I have to? How many fucking pages do I have to go through to say no, I don't want to pay for your shit? Stop. <laughs> I don't care. There's like four pages of like, hey, pay for our shit. <laughs> like you're so desperate here's the other thing okay so you guys know about streamlabs prime right streamlabs prime basically hides things about behind a paywall and this confused the shit out of me because apparently there's a thing called streamlabs pro so when you're donating to people there's been multiple cases of people donating and you see this extra 599 thing so like let's say they want to donate like a dollar or whatever oh yeah here's the thing like yeah i, I want to add a gift to this and like what they don't know is it's adding this extra 599 a month to their tip now, granted, you should be smart about this because it actually t tells you here. But like, it's so like, it's very easy to miss this, right? Like, I want to give like a like a donation, and then yeah, I want to add a gift. And pe a lot of people easily miss the extra of five ninety nine, which is like, sure, re read the thing. But apparently, like, this is a recurring monthly fee that a lot of people have a lot of trouble getting out of. First of all. Why do you have Streamlabs Prime and Streamlabs Pro? Why do you have two separate subscription things? I guess one is like for streamers and one is for like viewers or whatever. But I feel like, come on, man. You don't need to have two separate subscription things. Like that's fucking ridiculous that you have two separate subscription things. Like I feel like if you're paying for Streamlabs Prime, this shit shouldn't come with it. This is dumb as fuck that you have Streamlabs Pro and Prime. Yeah, you can do monthly tips. The, the monthly tips thing, like, I'm not mad at. To be honest with you, it's not even a horrible idea, the monthly tips thing. Twitch takes a big cut out of monthly subscriptions. And so I'm not going to blame anyone for having like a monthly tip thing here. But like, it's just this Streamlabs Pro stuff, right? I really thought Slobs was like under OBS. No, no, no. Streamlabs OBS is, they're a fork. Which is not a problem, right? Like, forking it is fine. It's just icky that they forked it and then they're just getting super money hungry and uh, like just grubby. <laughs> and then they try to trademark their name. I wanna see all the people on the homepage. No, I just wanna know. I wanna know what this girl thinks. <laughs> Yeah, Pokimane uses slobs. Apparently she doesn't use slobs, she just uses their alerts. We should find out what Pokey thinks about this. We need Pokey. We need to know what Pokey thinks about she's Pokey is on the front page of Streamlabs. Streamlabs better resolve this entire thread of issues or I'll be asking them to take my face with the platform look to use another donation service. They're 
dude. I've been saying for a long time, unironically, I'm a big fan of Pokey, okay? She seems like a normal ass person. I thought she was just a meme before. I've seen like videos of her and stuff I'm like, oh, she's actually like super normal. And like a lot of female streamers actually look up to her, which is I trust their opinion more, you know? The thing is, I don't see how they can fix anything. They can't. They're, they were caught red-handed. Very proud of Pokey. She basically came up and was like, yo, Streamlabs, you have some explaining to do. And if you don't resolve this, then I'm going to cut ties with you. And uh, I'm not going to be on your homepage anymore, basically. And uh, she's she's going to look for another donation platform. I would love if Pokey goes to Stream Elements and she's on the front page. Yeah, she knows Kimmy. Yeah, they're friends. They should pro She's probably got the hookups. Uh, Yeah, this girl. I don't know who she is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just add Pokey here. This dude here, Spring Sims. Hassan had a similar tweet, not as impactful as Pokey, but still huge following. I will never use Streamlabs again if they don't immediately resolve this matter. Damn. I'm very, very proud. Very proud of the streaming community today.